Here with Coach Mike Mincy after the Lady Eagles drop a five-point contest to Tusculum. I mean, Coach, kind of deja vu all over again. You had a big lead in the fourth quarter, had a chance to, to extend it a couple different times in the second half. Couldn't do it. What's the difference in the game in your eyes? Well, you know, ever since the game was over, and I was, first of all, I want to congratulate Devin and his staff and their players, um, especially in the first half um, and in the fourth quarter. Um, Tusculum wanted it more than Carson Newman did. Um, you know, we've had a good run through the year, the last few years of been able to come up here and win um, and beat Tusculum, and uh, they got tired of it, and they've got a sweep on us this year. So um, when another team wants to beat another team worse than the other team does, then they're going to find a way to win, and I think that their kids certainly did that. Uh, because there's things that happen against Carson Newman that don't happen against other teams when you look at stats and individual player performances, and they, they, they show up and lock in against Carson Newman, and our, team, you know, our players just haven't figured that out yet, but that's how it's going to be. Now, back to the first half, um, we played scared. We turned the ball over 15 times. Mm -hmm. We told them you can't turn the ball over, you know. And, um, you know, when, when it's a run and jump and they're trapping you, whatever, that's fine. I love playing like that. It's great. But you got to take care of it. And when you do take care of it, you get, you, you get good shots. We didn't do that in the first half. And I, it was remarkable we were only down by two points at that point. Mm -hmm. Third quarter, obviously much better. We get a 13-point lead. Had a nine or 10-point lead at our house. You go into the fourth quarter. You just poop it away, basically, because you're going to turn it over. Um, Tuscan scored about 30 points, 31 points in the fourth quarter. Um, they got momentum on their side, off some and ones. Just little things that we can't do. Turn it over 22 times at our place, lose by five. Turn it over 22 times here, lose by five. We shoot 47.5 from the field, 43.8 from the three. When you shoot it, you can make shots. When you don't shoot it and you turn it over, then you're going to walk out of any gym most of the time with a loss. Tusculum also out rebounds you. Their second yeah. chance points proved to be a big difference yeah, yeah. in this game. Uh, what was it that your team just couldn't quite crash the glass because it seemed like they wanted to shoot a lot of threes? They did. I mean, they shot 38 threes, only made 10 of them. When you shoot long shots like that, you're going to have long rebounds. Mm -hmm. We're trying to go rebound near the rim. Uh, the only ball, ball you're going to get uh, when you run in like that and you don't box out and box them out where they are, uh, the only ball you're going to get, rebound you're going to get, so when it goes through the net, and they weren't going through the net, they were coming off. The amount of times they had second chance opportunities, even second chance threes off their first shot miss is just, who knows how many, three or four of them probably. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what's disappointing is you know you can't turn it over and you can't give up second chance points and offensive rebounds, and we failed miserably at both of those stats tonight and still only lose by five points. Let's talk about the end of game situations because it feels like we've had that conversation a couple times this yep. year. Uh, you get a three pointer from Kelsey Marisites, you take the lead. Yep. Then at the other end of the floor, great defense for 20 seconds. Arnwan hits a three. And then your next possession, you turn it over, don't get a shot, and the rest of the way, you never have a chance yeah. to tire take the lead. What do you want your team to, to be able to learn from another late game situation where the other team made a play and you guys unfortunately didn't? Yeah, I mean, we, we stepped up. They stepped up first and made a play. We advanced it. Um, we eventually get Kelsey's three off of it mm -hmm. to, uh, I think we advanced it, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, big, big shot by Kelsey, you know. We go up by one, they come down, they're running around, you know, they, uh, we try to switch off. I, if I remember correctly, we switched Kayla off onto uh, Sutton, who was, they were thought, you know, trying to ISO her on Harley, get them switched up. Until I go back and watch it, I don't know if there was a mix up there to give Arnwine a, uh, a good look, and uh, certainly she makes it. And uh, then we advance it back. Um, you know, we had to go into the rim to try to make the official make a call, whatever. You know, we turn the ball over. And uh, that's the one critical play that you can look at. Uh, and then they go down and make their free throws, at least to get the four-point lead. I think they missed the last couple more or whatever. But uh, by the end, the game was over because I'm out of timeouts. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you're probably not going to make up four points in girls basketball without the ability to advance the ball.